Printing. For years, we've used it to make books, newspapers, packaging, and so much more. But more recently, you may have heard the term 3D printing thrown around. It allows you to take a digital model and turn it into a tangible three-dimensional object like a piggy bank. Let's take a look at how it works in three basic steps. Step one, it starts with a virtual design. Someone uses computer-aided design, or CAD software, to create a kind of precise drawing of what they'd like to create. This acts as a blueprint for the 3D printer to read. Step two, the digital model is broken down into hundreds or even thousands of thin horizontal layers with a process called slicing. Step three, all of these layers are sent to the 3D printer. There are many different types of 3D printers, but most have a nozzle that ejects a semi-liquid material, usually plastic, to print each of these layers. The nozzle moves around printing layer upon layer upon layer upon layer following the digital model. Depending on the printer and the complexity of the design, this can take anywhere from a few hours to several days. And just like that, you've got a 3D printed object. 3D printing has given engineers, designers, and just everyday people the ability to create complex objects that they previously weren't able to. Doctors are using 3D printing to make prosthetics, and some companies have been using larger scale printers to create buildings and cars. As the technology continues to get more precise, faster, and cheaper, its applications will only continue to grow. Goodwill Community Foundation, creating opportunities for a better life.